Breaking news, guys. Fresh crisis rocks Senate as Koduno Babio, the Nigerian Senate president, and Northern senators clash. Details will shock you. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us for the first time, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Northern Senators claim Mr. Okbabio and his cronies smuggled 4 trillion naira worth of safe enrichment projects into the budget. Hmm. The Northern Senators, under the aegis of Northern Senators Forum, NSF have comforted the Senate President Godwin Okbabio over alleged paddling over the 2024 budget with about 4 trillion naira worth of projects. Representatives of the 58 member forum led by its chairman, Adu Ninge, PDP Bauchi, comforted Mr. Okbabio at a meeting on Thursday in the latest guest house located in the Matama district of Abuja. The members of the Senate leadership present at the tension soaked meeting apart from Mr. Okbabio, where his deputy Jubri APC Kano and Chief Whip Ali Dome APC Borono. It was not clear if the chairman Senate Committee on Appropriation, Adeola, APC Ogun, was in attendance. Premier Times gathered that during the meeting converged at the instance of the forum, the Northern Senators accused the Senate President of inciting projects worth four trillion in the 2024 budget. Imagine. The alleged the projects which had no locations were discreetly incited into the budget. They also claimed that the budget was lopsided against the north and some parts of the south. The, Southern Senate, the northern senators also accused Mr. Okbabio of reroding the senators to quarrelling really pass the most fraudulent budget in the history of Nigeria. They claimed at the meeting that after clinically scrutinizing the budget, they came to the conclusion that it was self-serving in favor of Mr. Okbabio and his cronies. Our source said Mr. Okbabio could not defend the allegation, but said that the projects complained uh, about were probably incited into the budget by unknown persons, why he the Senate president was hospitalized during the, the budgetary process. He could not defend the allegation. He said, he said he did not know how it happened. He said it was, it, he said it may have happened when he was hospitalized. One senator who attended the meeting told Premier Times. It was also learned that the Senate president who claimed Ignorance of the insertions, asked Mr. Udome if he knew how it happened, but the letter said he was not aware. Before the meeting ended, Mr. Okbabio assured the senators that he would look into their grievances. The lawmakers did not leave the Senate president without asking him to make amends, another source said. However, some senators who attended the meeting said, they are surprised that hours after meeting the Senate president, some lawmakers loyal to him began to mobilize Southern senators to counter the move of their Northern colleagues. The Northern senators had days before confronting Mr. Okbabio met at an undisclosed location in Abuja, where they resolved to challenge the Senate president, who subsequently agreed to meet them last Thursday, 7th March. The Northern Senators Forum chair speaks. It was learned that Mr. Okbabio's move to mobilize Southern uh, Senators may have informed Mr. Ningi's interview 
with the BBC Aosa service, where he claimed that there were two federal budgets in operation. He said, for the last three months, we have employed private financial auditors to extensively examine the 2024 budget. We have uncovered significant authorized changes and additions in the budget that would have a widespread negative impact on the nation as a whole. We are supposed to meet with the Senate President and show him the irregularities we saw in the budget and let him know our concerns. We will not agree and support spending money on what we are not aware of because apart from the budget, the National Assembly passed. Some people went behind our back and prepared another budget we are not aware of. There were in inclusions we don't know about, but our experts are still working on it. Example, we had a budget of 28 trillion naira, but after our thorough checks, we found out that it was a budget of 25 trillion. How and um, how and where did we get the conditional three trillion from? What are we spending it for? And there are many other issues we have discovered. We are going to meet with the president and show him. We ask him if he is aware of all these things that are happening. We will show him and ask him if he is aware of it and what he intends to do to those who partake in the whole manipulations and inclusions. When Premier Times contacted Mr. Okbabio's spokesperson, he said he was attending a seminar and requested a text message. He has yet to respond to the message as of the time of filing this report. The Senate spokesperson, Yemi, uh, could not be reached as his telephone line did not connect. 2024 budget, President Tinubu presented a budget of $27.5 for the 2024 fiscal year to a joint section of the National Assembly in November. It was his first full budget proposal since he assumed office on 29th May 2024. However, while passing the budget on 30th December, the lawmakers increased it by 12 by 1.2 trillion, bringing the total to 28.7 trillion naira. This was after they increased the allocations to some ministries, departments, and agencies (MDAs) of the federal of the federal government, which they said received inadequate funding. Some key elements of the budget are uh, approved by the lawmakers aggravates expenditures. So guys, if we continue here today, we will not go. This is Nigeria for you, that anybody can wake up and do whatever they like. Yes, this is Nigeria for you. Yes, Nigerians. When I don't hear the matter, so it don't they happen boost pass for Nigerian senator as they don't discover things when we say not the correct at all, you know, for the 2024 budget. Maybe you not see matters, explain what happen. No.